Anakin Skywalker was an adult male who grew to the height of around 6 foot 1 at the end of his time as a Jedi Knight, and just before his fall to the dark side, just after the Clone Wars. Within his cybernetic suit, however, Darth Vader is said to be around 6 foot 8 in height. So this raises the question, why was Darth Vader built so much taller than his counterpart Anakin Skywalker, and what is the in-universe reasoning for this height difference? After his battle with Obi-Wan Kenobi on Mustafar, Darth Vader lost all three of his remaining limbs to the Jedi Master. Because of this loss, he had to be cybernetic cybernetically reconstructed, and given new arms and legs. In addition to his new cybernetic limbs, Vader also required a helmet to allow him to breathe, as he was also severely burned following the duel. Before his reconstruction, the Emperor could have opted to give Vader limbs that would have been better suited to his original proportions, but chose otherwise. Instead, Palpatine chose to enlarge Vader's arms and legs, giving him extra height. As well as the height of his helmet taken into account, this made Darth Vader 6 foot 8. This was done because of on top of being Palpatine's Sith apprentice, Vader was supposed to represent the Empire as a whole and be the figure behind it. Vader was made to be the face behind the Empire when concerning its military and direct command of the Emperor. If the Emperor was the Knight, Darth Vader was the sword. Because of this, Palpatine wished for Darth Vader to be significantly taller in stature and more intimidating than he ever was as Anakin Skywalker. Beyond just the aesthetics for Vader's suit, he also had to carry with him a cooling system and a life support system, and the armor had to be built over them in order to protect Vader most effectively. Because of this equipment, Vader was made much larger, and in a metaphorical sense, Darth Vader was built around the personality and even the very body of Anakin Skywalker, creating a new person. Wearing the armor of Darth Vader washed away Anakin Skywalker Walker and hid him away from the galaxy's prying eyes. This plan eventually worked out just as Palpatine had planned, as Vader became a more prominent figure within the Empire even than Palpatine himself. Vader became the power of the Empire itself, as he was the force that ran it, and his intimidating reputation followed him everywhere he went, not solely due to his armor, but it certainly didn't hurt. Vader's armor was in fact modeled after the design of the first Sith Lord's armor, when they were clad in large black capes and large plating that covered nearly every inch of their bodies. Vader's suit was designed designed to call back to this ancient Sith warrior armor, as this is his primary objective and role within the Empire, and it was to serve and enforce, just like the ancient Sith warriors did for their emperors. After the Empire collapsed and was defeated by the Rebel Alliance and the Returned Jedi Order, several Imperials even tried to pass off others as Darth Vader. This was because Darth Vader had become a terrifying icon within the Star Wars universe, and was a large figure that was meant to be feared and respected by all. By creating another Darth Vader, they believed other Imperials would rally to them. As as stated earlier, this was a big part as to why Darth Vader was increased in size. Of course, Vader's true action had more to do with how he grew to become so recognizable, but his large and memorable stature and design of his armor certainly added to it. So what are your thoughts on why Darth Vader was made taller by the Emperor, and why he chose to increase his size to represent power and to be more intimidating? Do you support and enjoy this explanation, or do you find it somewhat silly as to why this had to be explained? Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed and want to help the channel out, be sure to hit the like button. If you would like to see more Star Wars explanation videos and stay up to date with all the Star Wars news from The Last Jedi to Star Wars Rebels, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to turn on notifications to see everything as soon as it comes out and to make sure that you become a living holocron today. If you would like to get in direct contact with me, follow me on Twitter where we discuss all things Star Wars and debate with one another on the various topics concerning the universe. If you have any video ideas you want to see explored, leave them in the comments below the video with hashtag suggestion at the end of your comment so I can find it better. If you do end up leaving a suggestion, I really appreciate it and hope to one day make a full video dedicated to your question or suggested topic. Thanks again just for simply watching the video and your continued support on this Star Wars journey. May the Force be with you and have a great day.